the new Apex Legend Vantage really has the potential to shake up Apex. This legend effectively gets three weapons at all times. Because of this, she has a lot of interesting playstyles and can be played in a multitude of different ways. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like and smash the subscribe button if you want to see more Apex content like this. You can also catch me live on Twitch about every single day, and let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Let's go ahead and talk about her kit. Her passive is this ability to ADS. You can use this while using a gun or without using a gun. And it helps identify targets. It also will tell you the level of their armor and how many teammates they have, which is indicated by the amount of armors in the upper left corner. It also gives you this blue indicator where if you look underneath my reticle, you'll see that it tell, it's telling me where exactly to lead my shot. If I aim a little bit too high, the bullet will fly over. But if I aim by placing the reticle on the target, you'll actually see that it hits them directly. This is especially useful while using your sniper as it helps you lead your shot as you'll be able to account for bullet drop. Even though this sniper really doesn't have that much bullet drop, it's still incredibly useful. It's important to note that this ability actually works through smoke and can be used to determine which Mirage is the real one and which one is the decoy. I'm sure if that's intended for the smoke one, but I do think that the Mirage one is likely intended. Now let's talk about her tactical, which is the ability known as Echo Relocation. It allows you to throw out her companion named Echo. Echo is an NPC that cannot be destroyed by either friendly or enemy targets, so that's kind of important to know. While Echo is out, you can actually launch to Echo from a total distance of around 50 meters, and then from there, you simply hold your tactical button and you will launch towards Echo. Once you reach Echo, you can double jump off of him. It does kind of slow down if you don't, so it is, in my opinion, advised to do so. If you notice, there's a little bit of delay whenever you're trying to launch towards Echo. This can actually be shortened and mitigated by simply popping a healing item before trying to launch. This could potentially be something that may be fixed later on, but as of right now, this is exactly how it works. The heal animation cancel technique can also be taken a step further. While healing, if you press a directional key and hold your tactical to throw out echo and launch at the same time, you actually get this weird dashing animation. The cool part about this is, is you actually still retain your double jump. This can make for a lot of exciting plays and a lot of really cool movement techs. So use this crazy movement tech while using a super glide and also popping a shield battery during the super glide to launch towards Echo, which would cancel the animation. For something a little simpler movement wise, you can do a pseudo tap strafe off of it by simply looking a different direction before you hit your double jump. Another important tech about Vantage's tactical is you can actually crouch to cancel the launching animation any point throughout the animation. So we press crouch any point during the launching animation and it'll shorten the distance of your launch. This is useful because Vantage can't pull out her weapons during the launch animation. So if you cancel that animation, it'll actually allow you to pull out your weapon sooner. It also removes that pesky lag that you receive when reaching Echo. Then many times you'll find yourself not needing to do that and you're just trying to get to cover. Another reason this is helpful is if you accidentally place Echo a little bit higher than you intended, you can crouch to cancel the distance that way you don't go too high. This will make it a lot harder if you become an easy beam and actually just cancel the animation to get down onto cover a lot quicker. Another thing that is important to mention is Echo does not need to already be out to launch to him. Meaning you can call Echo out and launch to him simultaneously simply by holding the tactical button. Something else that could be useful is that the recall time is actually determined by how far Echo is from you. If Echo is really close to you, the recall time is incredibly short. In contrast, if Echo is further from you, then the recall time does take a little bit longer. This last tip is probably the most important one, as if you lose line of sight of Echo during the charge time, your tactical will actually cancel. So you need to make sure that you keep LOS on her the entire time. Otherwise, you could find yourself in a lot of trouble. Now for easily the best part of her kit, her ultimate. As stated earlier, her ultimate is only one of two legends that allows you to hold a third weapon. Her ultimate is a sniper rifle that is incredibly powerful. With one shot to the body, it'll hit for 50 damage, and then any consecutive shot after afterwards will hit for 100. This makes it incredibly dangerous when getting tagged by Echo to make sure that you're probably not peeking again. The debuff that the that Echo provides with this little orange circle actually provides a your teammates a 15% additional damage buff. This damage buff also applies to you, as you can see right here, it's hitting for 20 damage instead of the normal 18. This is incredibly useful because if you only have one bullet left in your ultimate, that bullet will never be a waste. Simply take the shot, apply the debuff, and then shoot them with your regular guns. Which is important to mission because your ultimate only has five bullets indicated on the right side of the screen. The ultimate actually charges by one bullet at a time. So the little indicator that you see at the bottom where it will say 90%, that's just for one bullet. For this reason, I think it's actually kind of important to carry ultimate accelerants as, as you can see right here, 
Whenever you're using an ultimate accelerant, your ultimate goes all the way from just having one bullet to now having an additional two extra bullets. They may not appear substantial at first, but those extra bullets deal quite a bit of damage if you're hitting your shots. It's also important to remember that the enemy can see your laser while you're aiming at them. For this reason, you don't want to just blindly aim around looking at your sniper. Instead, simply holster your gun and use your passive if you're ever looking for enemies. Lastly, what is the best way to play Vantage? For me, I like rocking the flatline still and running a shotgun. This allows me to have a mid to close range meta while also having the sniper ultimate as a sort of third weapon in order to take enemies out. I find this to be an incredibly powerful loadout as you still have your long range debuff and you also have the ability to snipe enemies out without them even knowing, while also not making you entirely defenseless if someone pushes you, which is generally the downfall of running the sniper. Normally, if you're a player who usually uses the Sentinel or even the charge rifle, you're kind of at a disadvantage sometimes because if an enemy gets in your face, you're normally not gonna be able to use that weapon up close. The loadout like this, it removes that disadvantage that you get. But if you're one of those players that like to poke from range, you can still pick up a G7 Scout or even a 3030 and use that as your long range weapon. It's not going to be as good up close as maybe a Flatliner R301, but it is definitely still something that you can try out. Overall, Vantage is definitely a legend that you want to try out, especially if you don't want to feel disadvantaged at while at close range. Her ability to provide information for her team, coupled with the fact that she has the ability to reposition, can be very useful. So make sure you guys give her a try and let me know in the comment section below if any of these tips helped you out. If they do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.